Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Gorski back. And today we're gonna to be focusing on a new concept called the break apart method. Now in my last video, what we were focusing on was using the hundreds chart as our main tool in order to find the sums or solutions for each one of these two two digit number sentences. So what we're going to do here, the break apart method means, I'm gonna take the smaller number and I'm going to show the value of each one of those digits I'm gonna make a simpler number sentence in order to figure out what our complete sum or our solution is to the number sentence. And we're only gonna be focusing on addition here. So we could also go back though to our hundreds chart just to double check our work and we could totally do that. So first let's go ahead and start with our first number sentence. So we have 33 plus 24 equals. So. What I have here is the asterisk above 24 is because that's not only the smaller number, but it's also the number that I'm going to break apart. I'm going to break it down. So when we talk about two tens, you think about that's two ten sticks. So if you were to count that, that would be 10, 20. So if I want to break this down, it's going to be a 20 plus four ones, which would be those four little number cubes, they would be just a four. So if I were to break this down, a 24 would be a 20 and a four. So now you're like wondering, hmm, what are we going to do here? I'm going to start then, I'm going to bring my 33 down and I'm going to start adding it to my two tens, which is a 20. So 33 plus 20. I could go back, I could use still use my hundreds chart as a tool. So if I starting on my 33, two tens, which is your 20, one, two, that's two hops or 10, 20, then it's gonna bring me to a 53. But I'm not done yet, remember. I added this two, this 20. Now I gotta add that four, those four ones. So now I have to take 53 plus four more ones. So I'm at 53, now I'm gonna do four more. One, two, three, four. So now I'm gonna be at 57. That is gonna be my complete solution. That's going to be my complete sum. I'm totally done. So 33 plus 24 is going to be 57. So let's go ahead. Let's use our hundreds chart as our helper. We did this in my last video. So we have 33 plus 24, two tens, four ones, 33, hop down two for the two tens, one, two, hop over four for the four ones, one, two, three, four. There you go. There's your 57. So it works in multiple ways. All right, guys, hold tight. We are going to do another example. Okay, we're back. Now we're going to be doing 22 plus 15 equals what is going to be our complete sum there. So what we want to do, we want to break down the number 15. So here I have 110. Five ones. So I'm always thinking if I had to create this into my tens and ones blocks, how would it look? How would I count it? So one ten stick would just be equal to 10. Five ones blocks would just be equal to five. And that's it. You broke it down. So what I want to do now, I want to start establishing those other number sentences to help me find that last number, to help me find that sum. So now I'm gonna take my 22 plus those that 10. So 22 plus 10 more. Hey, I'll take a look at my hundreds chart. That could be a helper. I'm at 22, I want to go 110. That means only one hop down. There it is, now I'm at 32. But am I done? Nope, because I still have to count. I still have to add in those five ones. So now I'm gonna take this sum, 
32 plus 5. So I could count on, or maybe I could even use my hundreds chart as a helper. If I'm at 32, so now I'm going to go 5 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm now going to end at 37. So that should be my total. So let's go ahead and let's do it. Let's do 22 plus 15 right on my chart. Let's talk about those skills we just learned about. 22 plus 110 five ones, 110 one hop down on that hundreds chart is 32. Five more ones, one, two, three, four, five, end at 37. So this is also a great way, just in case you might not have a hundreds chart handy, this is also another good strategy in order to figure that out. So hold tight, get ready for another example. And we are back. So here we go. We're at 62 plus 28. So this is what we're going to do. Let's go ahead. Let's break down our 28. So our two tens is equal to 10, 20. Our eight ones is just simply what it is. It's going to be an eight. So now let's go ahead. I want to start making my new number sentences. So I'm going to start with my 62 plus, I want to add those tens plus 20, 62 plus 20. Here I might use my chart as my helper, 62 plus 10, 20 or one, two tens. That's now going to bring me up to 82. 82, I'm not done because I still have to add those ones. 82 plus 8 is now going to give me, so I'm at 82, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm going to land right on 90. So that would be my final solution. That would be my final sum. So 62 plus 28 is going to be 90. Let's go ahead. Let's do it the other way. Let's just strictly use that chart. So I'm at 62. I want to add two tens, eight ones, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Brings me right to 90. So that totally works. Again, multiple strategies worked and we all got the same solution. All right, stay tuned for one more example. Okay, now we are back. So we are at 75 plus 23. So let's go ahead, let's break it down. So if I have two tens and three ones, two tens, 10, 20, three ones, exactly what it is, it's just a three. So now let's go ahead, I wanna start making those additional number sentences. So I have 75 plus 20. I want to start with those tens first. So I'm up at 75 right now. I want to hit those two tens, 10, 20, or one, two. Then I'm at 95. Now you know I'm not done yet because I still need to add those three ones. So 95 plus three more ones is going to give me 95. One, two, three. Yep. It's going to bring me to 98. So that's what my total is going to be. So 75 plus 23 is going to give me 98. So let's go ahead and let's do our other strategy strictly using the hundreds chart. So I'm at 75. I want to go two tens, three ones, 10, 20, or one, two. Then over three ones, one, two, three. There it is, back at 98. So the cool thing about when we do the break apart method, it's perfect when we do not have an additional tool available like the hundreds chart. And eventually we're gonna be getting to the point where we're gonna be coming away from the hundreds chart. So we wanna start learning all different kinds of strategies that we can use in order to solve more difficult problems. So I hope you like our little tutorial about the break apart method. Have a great day and I'll be talking to you all again soon. Bye everyone.